The first and still the most successful reintroduction of a carnivore in North America is occurring in a five-county area of eastern North Carolina centered here at the Alligator River National Wildlife Refuge. Expanding human development and hunting brought the red wolf to the brink of extinction by the early 1970s. But the red wolf has begun to recover thanks to a U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service project that included breeding programs in American zoos. But with only about 100 red wolves in the wild and fewer than 200 in zoos, the species still faces an uncertain future. One of those challenges is the number of wolves being shot, perhaps mistakenly, by hunters and farm operators. Bud Fazio, team leader for the Red Wolf Recovery Program, tells us more about the problem. Mortality by gunshot has been a huge problem in that it breaks up breeding pairs. And when we lose a breeding pair, we lose potential pups born. In fact, we have gone from roughly 22 breeding pair to 15 breeding pair. It is against the law to shoot or kill an endangered species. Currently, we are trying to educate hunters and landowners. We hope to distribute an educational card that will help both landowners and hunters learn the differences between red wolves and coyotes. There is a map that shows where red wolves are located on the Albemarle Peninsula. There is information that tells the difference between red wolves and coyotes. And there is a little bit of notice uh, letting people know that it is not uh, legal to shoot wolves and uh, the Endangered Species Act is something we still must uh, apply. Through hunter outreach programs and other educational efforts by the Fish and Wildlife Service and its partners, perhaps the annual losses of these endangered wolves to gunfire can be reduced. If you'd like to learn more, please visit the Red Wolf Coalition website at redwolves.org. I'm Rod Hackney reporting for the Zoo Files.